Okay, this is a tutorial to decapsulate brine shrimp. If you don't have a hatching vessel, you can visit my hatching tutorial uh, and it will show you how to make one of these. You'll need this uh, for decapsulating the brine shrimp. Let me just go over some of the supplies you'll need. If you are going to try to hatch your decapsulated brine shrimp, you'll want to make a solution um, and we'll make that, but you'll need some just regular table salt will be fine. Uh, baking soda. This is a tablespoon, one tablespoon. And then of course we're going to use water. We're going to need water uh, to hydrate the eggs. We're also going to need it to rinse the eggs and then also to make our hatching solution again. Um, so you'll need a lot of water and you can do this over a sink but I'll just use a two liter bottle. Okay, for the decapsulation purposes um, you'll just want some regular household bleach this is what I use. You'll also need your brine shrimp eggs. I'm going to be using 90 percent. You'll also want a, a filter. Um, if you don't have a brine shrimp filter you can go to the store and buy a coffee. This is a coffee filter. This is what I use to, uh, to, to clean and rinse my brine shrimp eggs. It works wonderful. And then of course your, your, uh, your hatching uh, apparatus. You'll have your um, your container that we'll do most of our uh, decapsulation in and hatching. You'll need a lamp and then an air pump. Alright, the first step, it's pretty simple. Um, what we'll want to do is we'll want to take our brine shrimp eggs. We're going to have to uh, hydrate them. When the brine shrimp companies harvest them off the lake, they dry them out and it puts them in a state of diapause or hiber hibernation and they dimple like a, uh, like a basketball that has a somebody punch the center of it and they dimple in. So what we'll want to do is take our brine shrimp eggs but you can put you know one tablespoon in there and that's what we'll start with. Once we get that tablespoon in there we'll want to add our water. Um, this is just regular tap water. And then what we'll want to do is turn the air on just to circulate those brine shrimp eggs like that. And then what we'll do is we'll leave this um, for about 10 minutes just to hydrate the eggs. What will happen is, is that as they circle around in there and the, uh, they're in just the fresh tap water, they'll actually pop out and they'll hydrate again. And that's what we want uh, to start the decapsulation. So let's let this go for 10 minutes we are now ready to get the fresh water out and start the decapsulation uh, of the brine shrimp. What I do is I just take the air out and then you can take it and what you want to do is you can do this over a sink since we're just in my studio I'm just going to take the filter and you're going to dump the brine shrimp eggs in that and this will slowly drain out and what you'll have when you're done is just the brine shrimp in there. So like I said you can use a brine shrimp net. This coffee filter works very uh, very well if you don't know where to get a to get a, um, a brine shrimp. So go ahead and filter it and we'll go to there. Okay once you get it filtered you can leave it in the filter for now but you can kind of see our brine shrimp eggs. Um, that's kind of how we want it. If they're a little wet, that's all right. Um, but what we'll do is we'll set that aside for now. You notice I still have some in the container. Uh, they just stuck to the side, and that's all right too. But what we'll do now is we'll take our, our sodium hypochlorite, or our bleach, and we'll just add it straight into that uh, hatching container. I fill this up about Oh, maybe five eighths. You kind of want to be careful because it's bleach and it will, you know, uh, stain stuff. Next thing you do is after you get your bleach in there, you want to get your egg in there as quick as you can. I usually just take my finger. And you can see it just kind of break apart like that. Once it does that, you can just take it. It will go straight into the bleach. Try to get as much as you can. And then you want to turn the air on again. Okay, now depending on the 
the bleach solution. Um, this can go anywhere from oh anywhere from two minutes or a minute even up to five or ten. You want to mostly you want to look at the coloration change. So I'll try to zoom in here. What you'll do is you'll take your coffee filter again. You'll want to you want to clean it out, um, and then we'll we'll stop the air on that. You can see the color. We've got a nice orange, um, and then we're going to want to filter it again to get all the. You can see that to get all the bleach out. And as that's filtering, what I would do is take your uh, filter and place it over a, a faucet uh, and let that drain away because what you're going to want to do is rinse it with fresh water. So I'm just going to dump fresh water in here to show you, but like I said, ideally you'll want to do this over a sink. I keep rinsing it until the smell of the bleach is gone. And once it's gone, then you'll uh, be able to have your decapsulated brine shrimp, which you can then feed directly to your fish or I'll show you how we can hatch it out. Alright, once you've got it rinsed, it should look something like this. Um, you can see that there's no shell or there should be very little, which means you did a good job uh, if you're going to try to hatch it. You'll want to clean your hatching container out so there's no uh, bleach or that in there. And what we're going to do to hatch this out now is we're going to make our hatching solution. This is just regular tap water. You'll add your air. Okay, then we'll take our tablespoon with our salt. And we'll add just a flat tablespoon. We'll dump that in there. You want a pinch of baking soda. Now we're ready to just put the rest of the of the decapsulated brine shrimp in there. You can just take it like this. Let this go for about 24 hours. Uh, you'll want to add a light source to it. Okay, so here we are 24 hours later. Um, we've got a, um, the brine shrimp have all hatched out and things went really well. Um, the first step we'll want to do to harvest these is remove the air and what these will happen, you'll turn off the light as well, what will happen is the brine shrimp uh, will sink to the bottom um, and then you're able to take a straw, put your finger on the top, put it in and you can siphon them out from the bottom as they sink, sink down there, put your hand back on and there you go and you can feed those directly to your, uh, to your fish and you're ready to go.